This protocol describes how to generate carbon fiber electrodes. First, we'll fill the glass capillaries with carbon fibers that have had their sizing removed. Next, we'll pull the fiber capillary assembly into two electrodes and cut the fiber. Then we'll arrange the electrodes to dip into epoxy to seal the fiber into the electrode. We'll store the fiber electrodes on a rack in a hot oven. These electrodes are subsequently used to detect catecholamine release from vesicles in single cells with carbon fiber amperometry. Successful recordings show low noise and well-distinguished upward spikes on the recording trace. Hi, I'm Carrie Pike from Dr. Amy Harkin's laboratory in the Department of Pharmacological and Physiological Science at St. Louis University School of Medicine. I'm going to show you a procedure for generating low noise carbon fiber electrodes to be used in amperometry for measuring catecholamine release from single cells. Let's begin. To prepare the carbon fibers for making electrodes, First, cut a bundle of carbon fibers to a length that is about 1.25 times the length of the capillary pipette. In the fume hood, remove the sizing by boiling about 100 milliliters of acetone in a container and adding the fibers to the hot, boiling acetone for 30 minutes or longer. After boiling, remove the fibers from the heated acetone and transfer them to a clean beaker containing 50 to 100 milliliters of fresh acetone.